Alright. I'm glad you guys are laughing and enjoying yourselves. Everybody here for this next comedian, Mr. Mikey Bones, Chi Town Bones. How are you guys doing tonight? You know what? I just want to thank you guys for having me out again. This is great. I just want to say thanks for that awesome meal. I think I'm going to change my new slogan to Will Joke for Chicken. I just came for the chicken, all right? I admit it. But no, again, my name is Mikey Bones, or also known here tonight as Charitable Event Comic Number 7. You know, I saw that the advertisement on the sign that says several professional comedians. I'm guessing I'm one of those professional comedians because I was the only comic here tonight smart enough to steal a suit. <laughs> oh, so you guys drinking and having a good time out there? I love to see that, but you guys got to be responsible. Like me, when I drink, I'm really responsible. See, when I do it, it's usually at work. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the chicken. <laughs> no, I just want you guys to know this is a charity event, you know. So every laugh you contribute during my set is going towards a great cause. Yeah. My big-ass ego. <laughs> Thank you. There it goes. But no, I'm not vain at all, you know. You'll never catch me talking to myself in the third person. You don't get it? It's kind of weird, isn't it, third person? It's like this. Mikey Bones is wondering why Mikey Bones is not answering Mikey Bones. <laughs> Mikey Bones is getting angry. All right, fuck the third person. <laughs> hey, you know what? You got to give it up for Jim Holland. Where's Jim Holland? Yeah. Yeah, Jim's a very good friend of mine. Yeah, with friends like Jim, who needs Godzilla? <laughs> I want my baby Godzilla. God, where do you go after a bad Godzilla joke? I'm thinking Tokyo. <laughs> No, it's funny though. How about that joke? Did you like that thing with Godzilla? No, that was cool, Jim joke. You know, with the snap pops, that was kind of crazy. But you know what's crazier? I had to actually convince Jim not to use actual Japanese people. <laughs> I'm like, no, Jim, that's not cool. They get through enough. <laughs> oh, God. God don't like me. <laughs> No, but you know what? Jim is a great guy. You gotta give him up for putting this event together, man. Woo! Nah, he's a great friend of mine, and I'll tell you, Jim is the type of guy that will give you the shirt off his back. The problem is, his shirts don't fit the average person. <laughs> hey, he's a big dude. I mean, hell, his shirts won't fit the average skyscraper. <laughs> So as you notice, I've been using a set list. I want to be prepared tonight. But it's a little more than that. I actually have over 600 jokes in the retention span of a Dorito. <laughs> but no, I'm not. I have no shame. I've been doing, uh, using cheap cheap probably my own whole life. I mean, really, how do you think I got halfway through community college? <laughs> and I'm not even going to bring up my first sexual experience. Oh. That's why I was prepared. I didn't want to, oh, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> man, it's always kind of funny, though. They really guys got you packed in here tonight, man. It don't look like a comedy show. It kind of reminds me of the mess hall on a submarine. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right, couples go down. They're all going down. What? <laughs> Why, is submarines out this year? What's wrong with submarines? I thought that shit was in. Full of semen. Oh, semen. <laughs> you like semen? <laughs> Do you want to see some semen tonight, sir? <laughs> I can maybe arrange that. No, I told it was a charity event, but... <laughs> Oh, where do you go after a bad 
that semen joke. I'm going home, sir. But no, I gotta admit, man, this is kind of a nice crowd. It's kind of big. I'm not used to actually playing shows this big, you know. I'm actually doing, used to doing more smaller, intimate venues, you know, smaller shows like in front of my mom. And her three cats, of course. I mean, you guys know what a cat says when you step on its tail? Wow, a lot of cat lovers. <laughs> okay, I won't fuck with the cats. But just tell you a little about myself. Originally, I'm from Chicago, you know. And actually, you know, I'm transitioning. I've been out in Arizona for a while. I'm trying to get used to it, man. It's kind of hard to adapt. Things are different. Like, for example, Arizona is the only state that I know where people actually wear flip-flops and swim trunks to a funeral. <laughs> Ah, and you know what's even weirder, sir? Sometimes it's the corpse. <laughs> what, did you drown to death, sir? <laughs> but you know what? I'm out here and I'm trying to display you know, my old-fashioned Midwestern values out here. So like the other day, I was on my way to work, right? And I saw this beautiful girl and she's walking down the street and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be a nice guy and try to offer that girl a ride. But for the life of me, I couldn't get the driver to stop the fucking bus. <laughs> you know, back home, that's what we call shitty customer service. If you guys could just hold on for a sec, I'm going to go to act number two here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, you know what? I'm feeling good about myself. Actually, I've been eating less and I'm losing weight. And I owe it all to my new diet. Government assistance. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's right. I mean, who needs Weight Watchers when I have no job? <laughs> who can afford that shit? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I went to Act 3. Please give me a moment. <laughs> now, you know what, though? I wouldn't mind being a famous comedian because I figure it like this. Actually, maybe one day I can afford the finer things in life. Like rent? <laughs> rent? Yes, rent, the musical! <laughs> Thank you, drunk lady, for assistance. <laughs> Man, I'm sweat like a welder in a meth lab right now. <laughs> Wow, you're taking me to Denny's afterwards. <laughs> but you know what, though? It's actually, I'm not greedy, though, man. I'm not looking for a lot of money. I just want to, you know, be able to pay my bills through comedy. I just figure I'm going to have kind of a hard time convincing the credit card companies that knock-knock jokes are the same as cash. Knock-knock! <laughs> Who's there? Ain't paying! <laughs> Famous? Can I get like at least $9.99 and up? <laughs> He's not bad. He's not bad.